agitate took this seriously, I started coming at me for smoke. So I was like, are oh, you bitch? <laughs> you wanna come at me? He said I was a fan. I never was a fan. Why are you demeaning women repeatedly? The way he talks about women is just so controlling and it's so demeaning. It's so backwards. Well, who do you think you are? <laughs> KSI and Andrew Tate are beefing. It is no secret. These two have been going at each other for quite a while now and I'm here to keep you on the loop. So a couple of days ago, KSI made history after he beat two guys in one night in a YouTube boxing event, which is arguably one of the biggest events of this year so far. After the boxing fight and after the main event, KSI went on to call out Andrew Tate. Now, if you don't know who Andrew Tate is, you're probably living under a rock or you've never been on TikTok nor Twitter, which if you haven't, Congratulations to you. Andrew Tate is known for being the pinnacle of masculinity, the Chad status, and for being the school dean of Hustlers University. Now, of course, you all know what Andrew Tate really is. He got banned for being a menace to social media in general. He got banned for being a public menace and making sexist remarks on women. One of these people that talked about this ban in a very comedic manner is KSI. The legend himself. The man who took on two guys on one night without being the world's greatest homo. And he tweeted out saying, Thank God Andrew Tate got banned. And unfortunately, this tweet would then start the rivalry between these two, if it's ever worth calling that. Things, the personal message to you, KSI. I had no problem with you. I don't fucking know you. I don't watch your bullshit YouTube channel. But when I get banned, you want to go from a fan to just fucking instantly cowering out to the Matrix. That makes you a hypocrite. There's nothing more disgusting in the world with a male hypocrite. At least Jake Paul was man enough to say stand up for fucking free speech. If you ever fought Jake, he would smash your fucking face He'd in. fucking smoke you. And if you want to get smoked twice, I'll fucking smoke you myself. The shit you've said in the past is worse than anything I've ever fucking said, and you know it. Fuck KSI. Andrew Tate went on to figuratively fight KSI with words left and right, throwing jabs about his past. And honestly, that's really what got this party started. You've probably seen this TikTok a couple of times on like YouTube shorts or your TikTok. Just You're just scrolling on TikTok looking at Genshin builds and then you see this kind of shit pop up everywhere. Now let's dissect this, analyze this with philosophical thoughts. Did Andrew Tate deserve the ban? Now, first of all, again, I'm going to keep on saying this. It's really up to the social media platforms whether or not they ban you or not. These companies have terms of services. If you break these terms of services, you have every right to get banned. Now, apparently, he got banned for misogynistic comments or sexist remarks. And, you know, with, and with these companies just wanting to maintain their peaceful environment, they just outright banned Andrew Tate. And honestly, again, it's really up to them. And it's not up to anyone else but these apps. Andrew Tate is really pissed off about this ban, saying that here is a violation of freedom of speech, when in reality, he's still free of speech. He just does not have the platform of Facebook or Instagram. Basically, it's like, you can still say this shit, saying that women, women bad, but you just don't have the stage to speak it from, if you get what I'm trying to say. Basically, he's the platform. And he goes on at KSI because KSI said something under freedom of speech. KSI has been called out by Andrew Tate as a hypocrite. A hypocrite, so to speak. Basically, he's been bringing up KSI's past, the legendary R-word phase, and the awkward in public telling women if we can motorboat their titties on camera and shit like that. And pretty much, he has a point. But unfortunately, KSI would then respond. And he's saying, oh, because of your past, KSI, you can't talk. Motherfucker, I've changed. <laughs> I've grown up. All the shit that all these top Gs are trying to bring up is from 10 years ago. When I was a kid, when I didn't know any, but I was naive. I was living in my little bubble. And then I saw the real world. I understood my influence and I changed for the better. I improved as a human being. <laughs> Whereas you, Tate, are still saying the same stupid shit now that you said 10 years ago. You have to adapt. You have to change with the times. We're living in a different world now. This isn't the fucking 1900s <laughs> where you can just treat women like shit. <laughs> are you fucking out of your mind, man? And now the second character arrives, Sneeko, the one and only prophet, the messiah of Andrew Tate, has come forth and decided to go at KSI. I was recently speaking with KSI. He just followed me on Twitter and that was like a huge, um, that was a huge deal for me. I've been watching KSI since I was like 10. And he recently followed me and we started talking. And then the other day when Tate got banned, I saw KSI tweet, thank God Andrew Tate got banned. 
and I, well, I was DMing him back and forth today, and I know this is a private conversation, but I, I'm going to talk about it because I think it's relevant. So it's something that he genuinely thinks, and he already tweeted that he was happy. Thank God, take out ban. I'm like, you've been canceled so many times for doing Hesky time, for doing the R word face, <laughs> making fun of SA victims. It's what you were doing. And now you're celebrating the downfall of somebody else. So not only do I think that you're just echoing what they want you to echo because you're scared of getting canceled against and now you're siding with the elites, you're siding with the programming because you almost got your shit taken away. So there is really this theme of calling KSI a hypocrite here, but in reality, KSI is no hypocrite. He's not a hypocrite. KSI is again, he, he did this 10 years ago, he changed. He's a changed man. He no longer is the man that he used to be. And again, KSI has done it 10 years ago, which is the time where you can say any shit. Like, Filthy Frank used to exist 10 years ago. Motherfucker, you do you're the, you're aware of goddamn Filthy Frank. You're aware of what he's done, fucking making hair cakes and saying the goddamn N-word. So, you know, it was a different time. Now, all that drama, I don't want to ask you a question. There's a little bit thing that just piques my interest, and that is the possibility of an Andrew Tate versus KSI fight. Now, I know that, you know, it's going to give Andrew Tate money. It's gonna bring him back to the mainstream but just for the sake of argument this is like the hulk versus thor fight or superman versus batman kids uh analysis like what do you think is going to win if andrew date did fight ksi like in january when the, the fight that ksi is promoting because if you think about it ksi is pretty good as a boxer i think we've seen it recently man is taking on two guys although we all know what happened to those two guys. Man, it's like... Swarms throughout the fight. Oh my god. <laughs> and, and the other one just pussy it out. But still, uh, KSI has been doing good recently. And however, people have been saying that Andrew Tate is a pro fighter and that KSI is not going to square up to him. Like he thinks that Andrew Tate is going to fucking murder KSI in the boxing ring, just decapitate him in like first round. But like the thing with Andrew Tate is that he is a kickboxer. I don't think he specializes in like boxing and stuff, but he, kickboxing he is. So I want to know what you guys think. Who's, who's going to win this fight and why he's, why one is going to win the fight? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode.